Hi, my name is Erin Hogan Breaker. I'm with Seventh Bone Tailoring. Today I'm going to teach you how to do Hollywood hems. Hollywood hems is the glamorous name for reattaching the original hem to the jean when you shorten it. My team works with the New York fashion industry and we're considered denim experts by Vogue.com and Jean Stories. My pants do not fit. I like to pin on myself. To do this, you just need to make sure your leg stays straight when you're bending over. Lean down, put the pin wherever you can reach, and fold the fabric under. I like it so it comes up just off the floor. Now when you stand up, you'll have a good idea of where it's gonna hit. We're gonna have to mark the measurement that we took out. Now I only pinned in one place because these are a casual pant. So I'm gonna use the same measurement the entire way around. Turn your pant inside out, find your pin, and you're gonna mark it with some Taylor's chalk. Once you have the mark, you can let go of the pin. This is gonna be the measurement that we need to remove from the bottom of the hem. It helps if you take a piece of paper, measure, and write down what we're going to take out. Three and one fourth. That's the total. So we're going to keep this finished edge here, remove that amount, and put the two back together. We're going to mark with the pen as close to this stitch line as possible because that's where our new finished edge is going to be. It helps if you make this mark so you can visualize where to measure up from. And we are going to go three and one quarter up and we're going to draw this all the way around. What we did to the back, we can do to the front. Next, take your ruler and connect the dots. It's okay if it changes a little bit. Now we need to figure out what our seam allowance is going to be. The machine is going to sew here and here and we need seam allowance on both sides of that. We're going to work with seam allowances that are one and a half inch for this. We're going to go all the way around front and back again and now we're ready to cut on our red lines. That's what we're going to remove. Go ahead and just bite into the fabric on the top and cut all the way around. Same idea. Make a bite and then jump in there and start cutting. We can put this aside over here. So once you've cut one and you're moving on to the next, pin it to the pan so that it doesn't get swapped accidentally on the wrong leg. Then start working on the next leg. Do your measurements and cut that out. We are now ready to sew. Don't be afraid of sewing on denim. Your Bernina can handle it. You just need a denim needle or I prefer leather needles. I like to use Oregon brand leather needles from brewersewing.com. We've gone from something that is larger that's now trying to fit into something smaller. So we're going to need to take out a little bit of measurement here. Measure on your stitch line. And measure again exactly on the thread line. It also helps if you line them up. You'll be able to see. Mine just needs to be removed a little bit. We're gonna take an eighth of an inch out here. You're going to avoid the part that has top stitch and sew on the seam that does not. In this case, we're going to sew on the out seam of the pan. I need to remove just an eighth of an inch to make this fit. I recommend using the board anytime you sew on a long, flat surface. Right now I'm going to use a two and a half stitch length on a straight stitch and I'm going to use a regular thread. And I'm going to do just a straight stitch. So I have my one stitch making this so that it's going to fit this new measurement. This edge was already surged together, so I don't even need to touch it. I'm going to just press out the seam I just did. Now, you have the one side that does not have top stitch, and your other side, in this case, the out seam, does have top stitch. Here is the biggest trick. We're only going to match one of these seams. 
in this case, we're gonna match the outseam. So whatever happens on the inside, we're gonna ignore it. If this doesn't quite match up here, it's okay because the outseam is what people are going to notice. We're going to pin the hem, the right sides to right sides. And you're gonna start at your outseam like we were talking about. As you're pinning, think about the way the machine's going to sew and place your pins in that direction. So because the machine's coming this way, we'll pin this way. Make sure you keep this good frayed edge down. It also helps to hold it out like this and place some pins at a further distance. Now we're going to do our first stitch. You can take the tray off and we're going to switch from a regular number one to a number four foot. As you can tell, the four foot lets the needle go to one side because we're gonna to wanna to get as close as we can to this thread line. Change your needle position. Now we're still using a regular thread. We've not gone in with the denim thread yet. And this is because we're going to do just stabilizing stitches right now. I'm still on a two and a half. I'm going to start at my out seam area. But what we're going to do is we're going to stitch just easily where the foot wants to come down. We're not going to get into here yet. Hold the tail and go all the way around. These are helpful when going over the bulky seams. We've got this first stitch in, and now we can take out our pins. We did that because we want to be able to start working as close as possible to this line without it shifting. I'm still going to use this regular thread. We're going to start again at our out seam. And here's the trick. Take your seam ripper, and you want to get under this little ridge as much as possible. When we press this with the iron, the seam is going to be right at the stitch line. You won't be able to notice it. Now we need to finish this edge inside. I'm going to switch to a thicker thread, to my denim thread. We're now going to switch from our number four foot back to the number one. Change the needle position to the center. We are going to use an overlock stitch, the number eight stitch on our 350, because we are going to finish this edge. So if you don't have a serger, this is a great stitch where you can do a fake overlock. Practice on our test scrap, going right up against that edge. The test looks good. You can always change the tension on the top if you're having trouble with a denim thread. Before we do our overlock stitch, we're going to take our scissors and just trim a little bit of the fray that's going on or any uneven edges. It helps if you drop your needle and then hold to the back with this thicker thread. And don't start on a bulky area. When you get to your bulkier areas, if you're having trouble, just hand crank the thread and the needle will go nicely over any bulky areas, but the Bernina can do it. We are now ready to press. As I press, I'm going to pull down a little bit so we can see the original thread color. So now you can compare the one you did to the one you have not done and you can hardly notice. We're almost done. We have the overlock on the inside of the pant, but now we need to make sure that this overlock does not fall down. We're going to put a tack at both the outseam and the inseam, and that's it. That's all the only two places you need, and that will not fall down. We're going to switch back to a regular thread, and we're going to make a stitch just right here about a half inch. I usually like to use a khaki on a light denim because you'll never see it. It's going to blend in. We're going to switch back to a straight stitch. I'm going to try and stitch right here, but if you need to stitch next to the seam, it's okay. No one's going to notice if it's not exactly hidden. 
I'm gonna drop it into the seam allowance, hold my threads, back stitch where the top of the overlock is. It's hidden. And now this will not fall down. That's it, we've reattached our Hollywood hem. If you wanted to make this hem circumference smaller, all you would do is open it up, slim this circumference, have it match that one, top stitch with some denim thread, close it up, you'd be good to go. All right, let's try them on. They fit, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to BerninasWeAlso.com for more tips and tricks from the 7th Bone Tailoring Team. Thank you.